more. Now, Merriam-Webster defines citizenship primarily as membership in a community, secondarily as the quality of an individual's response to membership in a community, i.e. if one is a good citizen or a bad citizen. Now, holding citizenship grants members certain rights, freedom of speech, the right to vote. It also attaches certain responsibilities like obeying laws or paying taxes and serving on juries, just to name a few. Now, we take one or more of them away from a fellow citizen. We push them farther outside of society. And right now, there are millions of people across the country living in this condition. In most cases, because of something they did, a decision resulting in jail time and with it, a loss of rights and responsibilities. But once the time is served, should they be allowed back into the franchise fully? Well, Maryland's legislature believes so. They're on the brink of passing a bill reforming Maryland's law barring ex-offenders from serving on juries. Delegate Juanica B. Fisher, out of PG, excuse me, Prince George's, since we're being official, called the bill the last piece of full citizenship in a Washington Post interview. Ex-offenders can vote, but they can't serve on juries, which I would think has to limit jury pools, particularly when we're talking about assembling a jury of one's peers when the defendant looks like me. A problem within our justice system that this bill may help address. Under the current law, a person is restricted from jury service if they've been convicted of a crime that carries a sentence of more than a year and the person has served a year in jail. An ex-offender can only regain the ability to serve on a jury if they receive a pardon. And honestly speaking, how often is that happening? Now, as I first considered this news, I was all for it. My want is that those who did the work could be integrated back in our society. This is a good thing, individually and collectively. But as I thought more about it, I started having some concerns. Like, should every ex-felon be allowed back in? Are there crimes so heinous that a conviction should rule someone out permanently? And who gets to decide that? Just got a little bit more complex, didn't it? As a rule, I don't like blanket rules, one way or the other. It's a little too easy for them to become weaponized for my taste. Or they go the other way, becoming a loophole for the undeserving. I am a believer in rehabilitation. I've highlighted examples of the power of it on previous shows. So I believe the bill is a good thing, but my hope is that due diligence has been afforded to the questions that I asked. But then again, I'm just a comedian, so what do I know?